The IT11 has many functions besides a leak down tester. Using the balanced bridge circuit, it's able to use the magic eye tube to do a number of measurements, both as an internal reference to measure something and an external reference. Without getting into too much, we'll focus on one thing right now. And this is testing a resistor. I'm gonna move the light here so we could we could see the beam better. And basically what we're doing is I have a resistor here and it's uh, 330K ohms. And what I wanna know is if the resistor actually reads 330K ohms. So I have the capacitor checker hmm, set on 10K. And basically what I wanna do is I want to move this uh, dial here, this, this knob, and bring this circuit into balance so that the, the value of the resistor and the value of the reference inside plus the offset of this balances the circuit and causes the eye to open. And we happen to know the resistance is 330K, so we, we needn't search really hard to find it, but I want to show you what happens. And basically, we're going to take a multiple of 10K and assign it to a value on this resistance measurement, which should be, here's 400K, 300K, that's 350, and so right there is 330. So what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dial, I'm going to attempt to take the dial without blocking the light, and we're going to watch what happens as we slowly balance the circuit at 330. So that's 300, I went past it. So I want to see exactly where I... And you can see, there's 350, just under 350, but just over 325. And we're seeing that this is opened up fully at exactly 330, which is the exact same measurement of the resistor down there. So the resistor function works very well with regard to reading resistance on this unit. I could also, however, though I'm not going to do it right now, I could put another resistor of known value on these terminals and keep that on that terminal and turn this to external standard. So we're using an external standard reference except for an, as opposed to an internal standard reference. And then what I could do is see the ratio. So if I had the same resistance on both sides, the magic eye should open up at a ratio of one to one. This is also very useful if you're measuring uh, coils, measuring inductance, but it could be also be used for resistance. Incidentally, the one which sits on the bottom and two, 200 over here, is how you calibrate this unit by setting this to the uh, X1 over here with a 1%, uh, within 1% 200 ohm resistor. And when you bring it right down to the one, it should balance out the whole circuit. That's basically how that works. And this is how you check resistance on this unit. I generally wouldn't use this unit for resistance measurements. I have more effective units like modern um, modern uh, uh, multimeters or even my, my um, IM11 VTVM. But it is interesting to see how it uses a balanced bridge in order to find the resistance given a known reference or an external reference value.